Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and I'm going to show you a quick overview of the new nano server in Technical Preview 4. So I'm going to log into my Windows 10 machine where I've uh, downloaded the, the Windows 2016 Technical Preview 4. I'm going to open my ISO file and mount the ISO. In here uh, you can see the nano server. And the first impression that I've got uh, from this is that they removed the uh, new nano server um, PowerShell script. Instead, what they did, and I think it's pretty cool, is they made a PowerShell module which you can import and use it to deploy your uh, nano server image to convert the WIM image to a VHD. And uh, this is pretty, pretty easy to do. I'm going to show you in my next video how you can do this uh, in just a few steps. Um, and about the packages, when I've um, started to read for the new technical preview, I was not able to find any information about the packages or if something else was included into the uh, technical preview for, for the nano server. But uh, as soon as I have downloaded the um, new ISO file, I uh, saw that under the packages we have additional things that uh, were included which are uh, looking really interesting for example the DNS package so now Microsoft uh, provides us the opportunity to deploy a DNS on our nano server and try to um, use it as a DNS to see how it behaves we have uh, the IIS package and now we can promote our nano server to a web server to IIS server and we can uh, build websites on it so that's pretty interesting another interesting package is the uh, service center virtual machine manager compute package so um, yeah there are a lot of new packages but uh, up for now uh, at least I tried to add some of the packages using the um, PowerShell module that was presented here and unfortunately there is no um, such option to add these new packages. We can uh, go ahead and add the old ones like the Hyper-V package, the containers, the Defender or the failover cluster but there is no information or no um, details on this script uh, for the new packages like the DNS. So I'm going to search some more um, I can see that on the uh, Technet website for the nano server they are still uploading some new things, they are updating uh, their information almost every hour but uh, up for now we don't have, um, at least I was not able to find any information how to add the DNS package for example. Here we have the language packages which are only in uh, English uh, for the, all the uh, packages included and um, yeah, that's pretty much a, a quick overview of the nano server and um, I'm going to continue with uh, deploying a nano server. I'm going to show you how you can uh, deploy a nano server and um, we can uh, then start from there. So thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.